Hi, my name is Michael Mark. So I'm Cambodia. So this is Grandma Thon. Her last name Sim, and her first name Thon. She is 74 years old. And all the Cambodian people mostly poor because after the civil wars of Cambodia, she struggled for her life. And she had five children, but three of them was killed in the Pop Pop regime. And one of them in the service, and he was the nightmares and then after the war and he died. She still have one son, but her son has mental issue. He got mental problem. And she faced with a poverty and despair in the future. Her old age is no hope, and then her land is owned by the bank, and then just floods all over the place because she lives in the flood area. This is her kitchen. And her house. She make a living by have a rattan palm, but she have to travel about 10 to 20 kilometers. To make her living, and she have to have a rattan palm, and you can see this plant is really dangerous. It had the sharp pin all over the plant and she have to be careful to help us on the plant. She working so hard on this. She have to rent motorbike 7,000 reel equal a dollar twenty-five cent to get to her destination to help us on this rattan palm. That rattan palm look like it has a lot of shopping pen along from the bottom to the top. Have to very very careful to help us them. And to assemble the basket, it's very hard. And a pair only can earn 7,000 real equal a dollar 75 cents. She have to working hard for her living and face with poverty. Life is struggle, she old and then it no hope, no medical care, no retirement plan, no social security, no government help. She have to working hard and find her own to survive. Mostly poor people live at the rural areas and many of them pass to generation by generation with earning very low income, less than two dollars a day. But all the assemble of rattan palm sold at the market at really high price, but they only pay for them for a low price. 
it's not easy to live in Cambodia for a long stories and history and people always struggle in their lives and suffer and say that never have the futures. But I'm so lucky to get in the United States so that's why I bring all this back to show the world how it my life was. Here Putax, he worked on charities traveling all over across the country, but he heard from the villagers, told him about Grandma Thorn. She is very poor and struggle and getting old because she is 74 years old. He got some interview from her and then she told all kinds of the stories and very sad. About her husband got killed in the Pop Party gym and her three kids got killed too. One of them in the service after the war. He had the nightmare and then he died in the middle of somewhere she didn't know. And she worried too because her land owned by the bank and one other guy called her mother and then he ran away. He grabbed all those monies and running away, let her pay for the debt. And the land, she lived in flood area too. She got support by Putak and because the general people a Cambodian live in the United States try to support her to helping her. You can see all the her kitchen is not look like the standard like in America. That's how the poor live. If this is the blood area, so you can see how the container, the jar store it the water. The water, it wasn't clean either. Even in environment, it's not clean too. This is the poor people's house, that how they live. I still remember because I used to live in that condition and get experience for it, how, how to survive. Grandma Thorn tried to clean the environment, but one of her sons still survived, but he got a mental problem. He need the medical care, but they didn't have any health network or any system to help him all the poor. She need to work harder by herself because her son just be able to pick recycle for a little money. And he got a mental issue too. She really need help for her life in the hard situation to getting old. Her joint hurt and her heart it wasn't working well. You know how weak it is, 74 years old, not having enough food, enough shelter, and enough for everything for her health. She's so excited to receive $25 from Putak, uh, donated by Mr. Lok Thai Siv, Mrs. Ratsapan. That can help her to solve and relieve a little problem, but it's not last longer. But she earns less than $2 a day because a pair of rattan after assemble only 
a dollar seventy-five cent equal seventy thousand real. So I do my best to helping them and making video to share to the world. Probably generous people will donate to help all the poor people with old age. I am so much appreciate and thank you for Putak working hard on this charity work without any income and spend a lot of time too. But how he can make a living for himself because he got a little business, he sold the phone and his wife sold kind of a vegetable for earning a little money for her, his living. But he got a heart see all around poor old people get so much suffering and despair and no future, no medical care, no benefit for any 401k or any retirement plan. That only way he can sacrifice his time to helping her. You can see on this video, she's so happy and appreciation and thank to this young man. I'm here, I never forget my background I got through how it is. So I will working hard on it and then we share to the world to let them know. Hi guys, thank you for your watching. If you want to support and kindly help, please share this video and subscribe and click notification to get new video that I upload to my YouTube channel. It's my works. Thank you for your watching and happy holiday and happy new year. Thank you very much. We'll see you guys on the next video. Okay, Mr. Streeters help to support the children. D, his name is D, his grandma is Sokro. Thank you, Lester, $20 for each month support. Thank you. $20 make her life different. Help where the need this great.